All right, as soon as I heard that Dennis Rodman was going to Singapore, I said, please, someone call Ambassador John Negroponte because he would be able to make sense of this a week ahead of the big summit. Uh, and that Dennis Rodman is there, I'm, I'm happy to say. Uh, the former Secretary of State, Ambassador John Negroponte, is with us as well. Sir, very good to have you. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. I knew that something was, was cooking here as soon as Dennis Rodman was, was on his way to Singapore. And that could be maybe setting the stage for constructive talks. What, what do you think? Well, I think uh, maybe his presence can lend some uh, moral support. Uh, to the leader of uh, North Korea, since he's a familiar face to him. But, but I think uh, most important of all is the fact that uh, preparations are now underway for the, the two leaders to meet. And I think this is going to be uh, a historic opportunity. Uh, the only way to deal uh, with the North Korea, uh, the Korean Peninsula situation, is either by force uh, or by incentives. And uh, I think the use of force uh, would be a dead end and extremely dangerous. I think uh, the question of incentives is uh, what, uh, what can we offer to Kim uh, Jong-il to give up uh, his uh, uh, nuclear capabilities? And I think uh, clearly uh, what he wants is the legitimation of uh, a relationship with the United States uh, and integration with the global economy. I think there's a grand bargain to be made here, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm pleased to see the president pursuing it. But this upends everything we've been told about how you go through diplomacy, right? And maybe for, for good reason. Uh, that didn't seem to work in the past. This just might. Uh, as a diplomat, how do you feel about that? Well, I mean, there's no cookie-cutter uh, molds to uh, how you carry out a diplomatic negotiation. Every situation, it's like warfare. Uh, every situation has its own conditions and circumstances and influences. Yeah, but, but I, I never heard you refer to the leader of, of North Korea as a little rocket man. Now, 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 you <laughs> might have. You might have. I'm no. not missing. My only point <laughs> of mentioning it is not to be just flippant about it, but that yeah. this novel or different in-your-face approach of Donald Trump's could work on trade. It could be working. Look at this meeting. It's on for a week from now. But, it's but he wants, I mean, look, Mr. Kim Jong-il really wants to have a meeting with the president of the United he States. He does that, indeed. And uh, so the question is, how do we convert that desire on his part into some kind of constructive uh, process for resolving the problems of the Korean Peninsula. So the, these two gentlemen now can set the table for that. Uh, maybe they'll come up with some general uh, uh, statements of some kind that move uh, the situation in a positive direction. And then there can be follow-on meetings to uh, work uh, on some of the details, which will relate to uh, denuclearization, uh, uh, the ending of the Korean War, which is still going on after almost 70 years, uh, and the restoration of uh, economic relationships between uh, North Korea and the rest of the world. But if we so see still lot in hostilities, it, Ambassador, right, and to declare an end to the, 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 the state of war that's existed between our countries for over 70 years, that would be a big accomplishment, right? Well, that has to, that has to be uh, uh, part uh, of, the, of the package, it seems to me. But right. here's the question, in my opinion. Uh, is Kim Jong-un just doing this for some kind of tactical short-term benefit to get one or two sanctions uh, uh, taken off? Or has he reached the conclusion that, look, I've got these nuclear weapons, but for what? And then he looks at what's happening in the rest of the world, and he sees how his country is falling behind, and he's saying, I've got to try to parlay this nuclear capability into some kind of relationship with the rest of the world that can bring prosperity and a good life to my people. After all, he's watching uh, South Korean television every day, he sees how the rest of the world lives, and uh, if he's uh, Maybe he wants in on that. Yeah, he wants in on that, and he wants in on it for his people. Ambassador, we'll watch closely. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.